Furrow Cruiser Installation Furrow Cruiser's spiked closing wheels promote seed-to-soil contact by crumbling and firming the soil. We are going to first show you how to install them into existing wheel halves and then go through mounting them on a planter. The first step is to remove the old wheels from your planter. Remove the bolts holding the wheel halves together. Carefully separate the halves. It is best to tap the center of the wheel and not pry on the outer rim. Remove the rubber tire and replace with the furrow cruiser. Install second wheel half. Be careful both sides are aligned well in the outer ring. Tap gently with a rubber mallet in the middle to get the bearing seated. Reinstall closing wheel bolts and tighten. After you have completed assembly of the units, mount them on a planter. Furrow cruisers work best installed straight across from each other in the back hole of the closing wheel arm. It is important to use the provided spacers to shim the wheels one and a quarter inch at their closest point. It is not recommended to install the furrow cruiser wheels on planters with roll pin style closing wheels. Complete wheels for planters with roll pin style bearings come with an adapter stud which will allow the wheels to be shimmed properly. When installing furrow cruisers on 7200 and 7300 John Deere planters, the closing wheel spacing will only be 7 eighths to 1 and an eighth inch in most cases. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions or would like to place an order, please visit www.shoopparts.com or call and talk to one of our highly trained sales staff at 1-800-627-6137. Shoop Manufacturing, keeping farms running since 1977.